we are seeing here is that from something as basic as a brick when we put it together we can form the base of the house the walls and eventually the entire house now we are study of geometry is also something very similar it will all start with a point with this basic building block you will build more and more shapes you will build lines and from lines you will connect them together to form more shapes so this journey of understanding shapes and space and your physical world around you will all start with a point and then you will build further on that now if we get many of these points together and place them next to each other what we get is a line in geometry it's endless now these lines stacked on top of each other like this what we get is a flat surface it's called a plane it's like a wall many of these flat surfaces together many of these planes together one behind the other is what we call space it's like any object an object occupies space objects in space they come together and form more shapes we can see that we can put the same kind of shape next to each other and form a completely different shape so this is how in this journey of geometry you learn how to imagine play with shapes visualize and most importantly understand them and understand the physical world around you once we have formed different kinds of shapes we see that shapes also have behaviors like the way i and you behave in a certain way they too have certain behaviors what we call properties and basis this behavior they'll be put together in different groups or families now one last thing when we were growing up we learned about new ideas and to express these ideas we learned new words and eventually we learned a new language similarly in this journey of geometry when you learn about ideas relating to space and shapes to express these ideas you'll be learning some new words it will be like learning a new language in this chapter we'll study about points we'll see how when we get points together we can form segments and rays as well as lines now getting segments together let's say if we have four segments we can form a shape this is what we call a quadrilateral but wait before four sided shapes what about two segments together we get angles and if three then triangles if there are many triangles put next to each other smaller and smaller triangles what we get is yes the circle we'll also study about semicircles we'll see what is the circumference the distance around the circle parts of a circle that we call arcs interior regions that we call segments and sectors and most importantly not to forget about radii and diameter now triangles and uh, quadrilaterals are all polygons made of segments but wait we'll also study about curves now curves can be simple as well as they can be closed curves yes so in the end i'll leave you with some beautiful shapes that you'll be learning about observe carefully 